Well, hello everybody. It's Uncle John from Uncle John's Farms in Center Point, Indiana, and uh, we're trying to do another video for you today. Um, some of you like the tractor videos. Some of you like to see the animals. Today, it's another tractor video. Yes, indeed. Um, we have our farm wall, 560. You might remember in a past video, Mike was here, and he was going to be servicing this. We didn't have the parts to actually service the hydraulic part of this tractor, so we're going to do that today in this video. Also, we did notice that when we were having it out in the field, because it is starting to get nice now, we have a tie rod that on the front of this tractor that controls the steering that is about ready to break. So we've ordered the parts to do both sides, and Mike will be doing that a little bit later on too want to remind you real quickly that we are now welcoming you folks on the SNAP program with USDA. We can now process those EBT cards. So be sure and hit us up here on Facebook. You can also call 812-214-1116 and you can place orders that way as well. But we are now taking the EBT card. So I want to make sure that you all know about that as well. And there'll be more products as we get into summer um, with the chickens. We can go ahead and place your orders now and you'll pay for them then when you get the chickens and pick them up later on this summer. One thing every little kid loves is to ride on the tractors or be a part of the tractors when it's running. Um, every little kid that comes and visits Uncle John at the farm, they always want to ride the tractor. Guess what? As we take this to the shop for Mike to work on, we're going to let you ride along with us and you can ride the tractor today. All right, so we've got the gas turned on on the 560. We pull the choke, turn the key on. This little button here is the starter. Put the choke back in. It's gonna get loud, kids. I put it in the gear, give it a little gas, and off we go. Sorry about the camera dying on our tractor ride, but we've got it up here in front of the shop. I've got to drain the hydraulic oil. It comes from this one and the one over here. So I've been playing around with this. As you can tell, this is a little beat up. So I think what I'm going to do is while I'm draining this, I'm going to run to town real quick and pick up a new drain plug for at least that one, maybe both of them. So let's try to get this thing drained out. And as you can tell, it's very milky, so it's got water in it. Okay, so now while this hydraulic fluid is still draining, and you can tell it's uh, very, very milky, the filter for the 560 hydraulics fit right behind this plate. So we're going to attempt to take that filter off and out and replace it with the new one. This is a job also that you're going to get very messy on. I Like I say, I've bought this tractor used. We used it a little bit last year, but I'm pretty 
pretty sure it was not taken very good care of. So that's one reason we went through and changed all the fluids, replaced the radiators that was leaking, and now we're draining out this hydraulic fluid. Sometimes it makes a squealing sound, and I think it's because the fluid was so bad. And from the looks of it, it has some oil or water mixed in with that hydraulic fluid. Sometimes it takes a little something extra to get these apart because there is a gasket that goes on here. And as you can see, that you probably ought to clean up your tools a little bit too because they're going to get nasty as well. See why you wear old clothes with this? Now lucky for me we're outside so if it just stays here in the gravel it's not that big a deal. Look how nasty that is. I mean that should not be that color. It's got water in it. gasket on this. Alright, now comes the fun part. We get to grab that thing. And as you can tell, very very dirty and nasty. I'm surprised the hydraulics worked at all. Now you're never going to get all of this whole fluid out. So you can see it kind of seeping back in a little bit. You just want to make sure that, that filter is nice and tight in there. have this mechanism that fits on there like that that'll help hold that filter on. Then we got this nice new gasket. And like I say I didn't see one on the other one. get it started, but we're not going to tighten any of these down just yet, because we want to make sure that, that gasket gets nice and spread out through there. And there's a spring inside the thing that's holding that so you have to push it in. Now this one will run in a little closer just to kind of hold that spring because it's on the one end. So we want to make sure that gasket gets all the way around. And their holes all line up. Very messy, oily job. Now we'll just snug these down with our fingers before we put the ratchet on them. 
make sure everybody's good and tight and that that gasket's all the way around. have to do a crisscross pattern. I always do on everything. That way it just seems like it seals up better. It's kind of like when you do a tire. Now that we've got the filter on and drained, we'll put the drain plugs back in and then we'll start filling the hydraulic fluid back up. We may have to wait on Mike to help because of the, I don't know who engineers these tractors, but every tractor, the fill is in a very awkward place that takes two people to fill it. Well, hey everybody, it's Uncle John from Uncle John's Farms. Uh, in the next video, we will have Mike uh, explain about how to put the tie rods on. We kind of run out of a little bit of time today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, you can find out all about us at UncleJohnsFarms.com. We're also welcoming you SNAP program people. We can now process EBT cards. So to find out more, hit us up on our Facebook page. Just search Uncle John's Farms on Facebook. Thank you so much for being a part of our community.